Can I just seriously fail that? Seriously? Of course she died. <sighs> this is annoying. I don't even see where the hell she went to begin with, like... Anyway, come on. Let's try this again. This time we'll pay attention to her. What is this? Come on! Ah, you must be here for Officer Sir Cole's wife. He said mm. to expect you. One moment. Can we skip this? No. Damn it, why'd I do that? Ah, you must be here for Officer Sir Cole's wife. He said to expect you. One moment. Gan doesn't usually go out of his way to see me protected. Is this going to be so dangerous? I can't remember the last time he voluntarily let me spend time with a man who wasn't stodgy or senile. Start walking. We've got no reason to chat. Sorry. Let's get going. <laughs> that makes up for the time before. Alright. Now where is she? There. I see a little shadow or whatever. See, that's what happened before. That's why I didn't notice her before. Freaking retarded. So let's see. When I activate the guard player, the guard player takes... So let me just do that. I just take all that damage. Okay. Requires dark charge, which is what I have on. Okay. Song of the sale the surveillance systems so no one knows what's going on and then <gasps> she dies. <laughs> Why are you looking around so much? Like that. It's like you're looking for someone. Are you expecting an attack? Why did Gunn send an armed escort when I'm just going to the outpost? I'll ask the questions here. I'm supposed to kill you as a traitor to the Empire. What? Gan wants you to kill me? I... I... Are you going to? Harris Bant says you gave him sensitive military documents. This is about Harris. Fine. Yes, I slept with the slime. And do you think he bothered to call after? But military documents? Do I look like I have a clearance? Tell Gan that Harris is a jerk and I've broken it off. He's had the guts he would ask me himself. He's a patriot. That means you betrayed him twice. It is just jealousy. Gan knows I can't tell design specs from a grocery list. He knows I'm not a spy. Look, 
can't you just talk to him or, or something? He, he wouldn't really kill me for this, would he? Yeah, yeah. Your selfishness aided our enemies. You get no mercy. You're going to kill me for this? For this? No! Run, bitch, run! Run, bitch, run! Ooh. Oh, come on. That wasn't even like... Uh, whatever. Whatever. Jeez. That wasn't even like... Done properly. That makes me sad. Alright, whatever. Let's move on. She got what she deserved. Even if things weren't exactly the truth or not. Uh, oh no. Elevator. That one's broken. Interesting. <gasps> oh god. Let me up. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. Oh god, another part of the map. Oh, I see. There's all this, and there, this is the main area, and this is there. Oh, wow, this place is going to take a while. <laughs> I was hoping this place wouldn't take a long time, but no, I guess like it will. Ugh, god, god damn it. <laughs> Alright, guess like we got more quests to do. Fixer 66? What kind of name is that? Ah, The Apprentice. I was wondering when you'd reach the front lines. I'm Fixer 66. I'm with the operations branch of Imperial Intelligence. And if you have a moment, I'd like to show you something. The faster you talk, the better. On the left is an ordinary Republic comm unit issued to resistance fighters. You've probably seen hundreds before. This other one is a Republic comm unit that has undergone some surgery. Please look, don't touch. The second one contains a half kilo of high explosive that detonates when the talk button is pressed. A cruel joke. Better still an effective one. The plan is to take a few of these sabotaged comm units behind the resistance's lines and plant them on their dead. The resistance should soon salvage the comms and take them back to their headquarters. The resulting explosions will cripple and panic them. We'd prefer someone like you to take point someone who won't break if captured and who can go without reinforcements can you do this the resistance will soon see death everywhere your instructors at the Korriban Academy must have loved you head over to our technical <laughs> man a Balmora local we drafted the men call him toy box he'll give you the ordnance and show you how to transport it safely he hasn't met that guy I uh, had to deal with. I keep, wow, it has seriously been that long since I've been in the first planet. What was that guy's name? Jeez, memories. I was, he was such a dick to us, remember? And yeah, we showed him up. <laughs> oh, man. Good times, good times. My hatred for him made me strong. Keep trying to raise them. I may have another avenue. Wait, what? My lord, I made a Taurus, commander of the 2nd Battalion. We have an... an emerging situation. Oh. I have need of your assistance and your discretion. We have a rescue operation that must be mounted immediately. Is this someone important? It's not a single person. We've lost contact with Besh Company's entire 1st Platoon. We okay. sent them into the Akara droid factory for a covert electronic operation. Eight hours ago, their communications blacked out, which means the droids are onto them. Where's the rest of your battalion? In two words, stretch thin. I've got the rest of Besh Company and two others exterminating rebels in Broken Valley. They'd hm. never make it back in time. That leaves one hope for First Platoon, and I believe I'm talking to it right now. It would be an honor. Their ranking officer is Lieutenant Rutau. If the droids got him, then please, 
Take command and lead the unit back. Meh. Uh, more and more quests. I'm thinking... Um, what I might do from now on with this series. Just so it's not... Because this is... This is honestly starting to get a little bit boring for me. I'm not gonna lie. It's just kind of do highlights as I go on. So I can actually level up faster and whatever. Because I'm sure you guys might not be liking the whole traveling to one point to another, watching me kill stuff again, finishing this one quest. So I'll do all the quests and stuff like normal, but I think I'll just uh, show like highlights during each of the different quests and stuff. Show me, oh, uh, me accepting the quest, me, you know, com getting the main points in the middle of the quest and then completing it and just move on and move on and move on. I don't know. Thinking of doing that, honestly. Well, you'll speak things isn't up. the best paid engineering consultant on Balmora. Oh, what? my lord, I, I didn't realize. I, I mean, no one told me you would be Sith. My apologies for the familiarity. But uh, if you don't mind me asking, uh, what is someone like you doing working for Officer Sokol? Just transfer the credits and don't ask things you don't want to know. Don't ask about things that could get Officer Sokol in trouble, you mean? Because that's definitely something I want to know. Oh? I could add a little something on top of this for information that lets me pass Officer Sokol at the next evaluation. Call it a tip. Fifteen percent. Officer Sokol hired me to kill his wife and her rebel boyfriend. <laughs> Pretty little Kamara <laughs> had Republic leanings, hmm? Oh, that is not going to look good to the clearance board at all. Thank you. Uh... Next time you see me, I may be working Troida instead of this bit. That is horrible. I am seriously a badass. <laughs> that was so bad. Yeah. All right. Uh, what do we have to do with you? Comms away. Picture oh. 66 called with the details. I've got your car units rigged and ready to go. Oh, my name's Toybox. Or that's what they call me. I used to make. Well, never mind. Quite a plan the fixers got. What do you think of it? I like it. It exterminates the resistance in their nests. The resistance? Or anyone else that picks up the comm unit? He's assuming soldiers will be the ones stripping any resistance bodies, but civilians pick over bodies all the time. Refugees, sympathizers, sometimes you'll even see children do it. What exactly is the problem again? Look, you may not lose any sleep over it, but you have to admit we're aiming for soldiers, right? They're higher value targets. While I was making the bombs, I remembered I had some empty grenade casings lying around. Now, a comm unit, anyone will activate. But if we trapped a grenade to explode when armed, only soldiers will be in the blast. What would you think of that? Wait, but if we trapped the grenade to explode an arm, the only soldiers would be in the blast. And... Has it occurred to you that the Fixer's plan relies on you obeying his orders? I'm sorry, I was just trying to show some initiative, my lord. Here are the trapped comm units. They're disarmed until this channel is set to five. Just set them and walk away. Fixer 66 will be monitoring resistance comm frequencies. Talk to him when it's done. I don't care if people get killed, ma'am. I'm a Sith Lord. Alright. Let's get this one unlocked. And let's get this one unlocked. Cool. Travel route is confirmed. Uh let's see. What am I doing now? This place is going to probably be a while. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's see about this one quest here. Uh, 
the sunstruck grasslands, huh? I hear your exploits with Lieutenant Davril went well. I hope you didn't find him crass, my lord. Unlike my esteemed colleague, I do not base my mission's success on the decibel level of the explosions. Breaking the spirits of a resistance movement is like cooking a fine meal. Your metaphors are really dragging the conversation down. The resistance has the people's backing. We must crush the spirits of the people to crush the resistance. No doubt Lieutenant Davril told you that they've Why brought in cyborg mercenaries from off-world, using an experimental new drop technology to land them on the planet. These cyborgs are killing our soldiers left and right. In that case, I hope you have a good plan. You'll be the judge of that, I'm sure. I believe we can catch them by surprise at this location. But here's the key. I want to send the Balmoran people a clear message. We collect the technology the cyborgs use to drop onto Balmora and use it against them. Kill the cyborgs, collect the technology. What do you think? I want to be a dick, of course. I've heard better plans come from gonk droids. Oh, well, I do hope you'll consider it anyway. It's the only plan I've got. Bring me the cyborg technology, and I think the Balmoran people will get our message loud and clear. What's with his mouth? <laughs> I guess this is a good way to get credits quickly. Get these credit boxes. And I'll get some good gear too, maybe. Or just sell them in the trade market, which I'm going to do eventually. I'm going to have to start doing that if I want to make money. Okay, um, I'm thinking I might stop here today. Um, yeah, I don't really feel like playing anymore. Uh, I'm thinking, I'm considering what I'm going to be doing with that from now on. I'm going to do my commentary as normal, but uh, I'm just going to do highlights of me actually doing through it from now on, I think. So, uh, yeah. Thanks again for watching, everyone. This is Sermon the Night. If you liked this video, please leave a rating and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. So, be sure to also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. The links will be in the description, as always. And